Hello everyone, long time no see, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the iFly 737 MAX 8. I've been absolutely dying to film this video for you guys um, because it's such a popular aircraft right now and I've flown it probably about, I've probably done about 8 sectors in this aircraft, uh, Ryanair sectors and um, yeah now I feel ready to actually fly this thing with you guys on the channel. It's so nice to fly. I know I was actually complaining about Pim a few weeks ago, well here we are. Um, it's, we are in Copenhagen Airport, it's raining unfortunately, and it's very cloudy. Um, I've actually just come back from Copenhagen myself, so which is why I feel like these are Copenhagen flights. Uh, we're going to go to Edinburgh, uh, which is the plan, and we are on that sim. Uh, there's no ATC on, but um, there is some traffic around as you can see in here. There you go. Got an Amelia A Amelia A320 next to us. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning uh, this aircraft. Really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to give you guys like my impression of it, my review of it, and obviously what I've experienced in the past few uh, flights that I've done with it. I think I can really complain about those to be honest. Um, I didn't get any pre-release versions, so this is version that you're looking at and I'm going to review is the one that was made public to everyone, which is still pre-release, but it was a public pre-release. Um, but yeah, let's stop waffling, we'll get straight into the Belanta and uh, show you guys what flight we are planning today. Okay, so here we are in Belanta. Um, I just realised I haven't actually done what I needed to do. So map, add flight plan, import from sim brief. There we go, this is our flight today then. So we're going from Copenhagen in Denmark, which is here. And we're gonna to go to Edinburgh in Scotland. There is quite a lot of ATC and traffic going in Edinburgh, so that'd be quite fun. Um, and obviously we're in the iFly 737 MAX 8. Uh, we'll have a quick look at our flight plan today. So we're cruising flight level 360, and we have a flight time of just under two hours, one hour and 50 minutes. Um, and we're departing runway 22 right and arriving runway 24. Um, and we have, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we're on the ODN2 Charlie departure and the Agped1 Echo arrival. Cost index is 34, taking 6.5 kilos of fuel today. Um, not much else to really say. Uh, weather en route, it's a bit cloudy in both places to be honest. Um, but yeah, nothing else I can really add to that. So we'll get straight into the flight deck and get this flight along the way. Here we are in the flight deck of the iFly Max 8. I can't lie, it's lovely. So let's go straight in and onto the overhead panel. Actually, no, let's go to our EFB. Uh, we'll go to the systems page, sim menu, and we'll go to ground support and get the electric connected. We'll set that in and we'll go back up here and do anything else. So the battery can come on just like so and then the ground power can also come on let's turn up my volume a little bit um, and we'll get some dome light on here to make it uh, even brighter so we can see a bit more window heats need to come on IRS's need to be set to nav emergency lights to armed seat belts need to come on I love that seat belt sign IFE and cabin utility also needs to be switched on that can be switched to ground power uh, and as I said, we're cruising flight level, I can't remember actually, we're cruising flight level 360, so that's set to 36, um, perfect. We'll come down here and switch this to Unicom uh, ready. We won't do it just yet because it'll be constant chatter otherwise. And I think guard frequency is 1 to 1 decimal 5 if I can recall. I'll double check that a bit later, but we'll set that as well. Uh, obviously, as I said, no ATC, so we will set our squawk to 2000 which is the default one I'm uh, gonna set our modes on here to the ILS frequencies there we go and that is all good here one thing I don't have in this aircraft is a uh, sim brief integration for some reason it's not working for me and I can't tell you why that is but it's not so I don't know why I have to do all the route manually um, into the cabin, this is my favourite bit, this is the cabin guys, I mean look at the overhead lockers, it's incredible. A lot of people complain because they're like, oh it's not a it's not a cabin simulator, it's a flight simulator. But the thing is, is that as time goes on this type of stuff is just fun and it just shows how far flight sim has come as well. So people need to stop being so negative all the time. Um, anyway, 
These trade tables do come down, but I can't seem to find the click spot right now. Oh well. The window blinds do as well, which is nice. Lovely wing view there. Um, let's go back to the uh, the fat back here. I will set some cute lighting. So let's do... I think it's already on this one, isn't it? Yeah. But as anyway, it can show you something. So you can see you've got night light in here. Got meal and beverage lighting, which is a bit of fun. Um, but anyway, we are going to be doing... Oh. Has it crashed? Nope. Oh, that's why I was scanning something. Uh, boarding and deplaning, both zones. Anyway, we're back. So yeah, anyway, you can see you have loads of different types of lighting. You can set both zones, and we'll do that for boarding anyway. Uh, let's get back into the flight deck and get everything else uh, going. So we'll go back to our menu page, and we'll press initialize the flight. And then if we go down to our FMC, we can start planning everything down here. So ident, and then position. We were at Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel. I will set that in there. Um, and then as for the route, as you can see, if I do flight plan request, it's, just, it's probably going to say no uplink found. But apparently, yeah, invalid route. I have put in the correct detail, by the way, just so I can show you guys. Just so you can agree. Sim menu. I put my correct pilot ID in, so I don't know why it's done that. Um, but anyway, uh, EKCH to Echo Golf Papa Hotel, uh, departing runway 22 right, and then we'll go to the next page, do departure, 22 right on the ODN2 Charlie, ODN2 Charlie, route, Cool, and then we'll start filling it in ourselves. So then we go Papa six zero onto NARBA NARBA and then direct to Petil like so. Great, so that's all filled out, and then activate execute that, and then we go to our perf page. So this is only to do our weight and balance. So if we go to the uh, performance and payload page and we do weight and balance, in here is where we set everything. So total amount of passengers today, uh, let's just go with like 135, won't be completely full. Cargo would do like, I don't know, maybe a thousand in each. A thousand here and a thousand there, like so. And in terms of the fuel, total fuel, uh, we are taking today. 6512 6512 on the fuel taxi out is 143 which is about uh, 15 minutes and trip is 4160 4160 cool so we will set the payload and set the fuel and we'll get GSX to start boarding make sure sim briefs is ok this is 189 here which is far too many uh, let's request boarding. So it's a full flight in GSX's world. Boarding requested. requested will handle via Copenhagen Flight Services. There we go. There comes the jetway. Uh, we'll do zero fuel weight in there. Reserves can be one. The cost index was 34. And we're cruising 360. So that's been set in. Perfect. N1 limits, this is where we've got to do all of our takeoff data. So we'll go to the uh, show complete, sorry. We'll go to the copy FMC data button. Uh, it's actually wet, so we'll set wet in there. All of that can stay like that. Takeoff, flap config, we'll try to do 5. Air corner will be off and anti ice is going to be off. And we'll calculate that. Perfect. So we have a sector temperature of 48. Yes, uh, we'll do 48 here, and then I can't remember what it's, we're doing 84.7, maybe it's that, Hello, Captain. that sounds about right, I think, trim 5.21, yeah, okay, so we'll do 125, 137, and all that jazz. So that's all good. That can stay like that. Also, 10% D rate. No, we want that. 
Okay, take off flaps five. There's our trim. Three, four, three, five, four, seven. Quite different there, to be honest. What's it saying our trim is? I think we have our trim 5.21, which is correct. But we'll change these to 125, 137. 137. And then was it 148, wasn't it? Yes, 148. Hello. Because you can hear the passengers are boarding. Uh, so here's our route out of here. Everything has now been aligned, which is good. So we'll source out our MCP. Uh, we'll switch that to hectopascals. Traffic, data, weather. Um, we'll get the QNH, which is now set. Flight director left, flight director right. And we'll set LNAV and VNAV. Set this to 2 2. Go left. 2 2 0. And then we'll set this all the way up to our cruising altitude, which is 3 6 0. 3 6 0. And this can be set to 1 4 8. Perfect. There we are. Uh, right, let's get some lights on down here. Cool. And we'll take a quick look at the passengers boarding. If we're going to the cabin quickly. Good Here they are. They're not sitting down as always, but yeah, there we go. So all the passengers are coming on. It's got a few window blinds shut here as well. Oh, they set to like automatic. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. On the EFB in a sec. Anyway, everyone, let's get the APU started because we'll be out of here anytime soon. Get the passengers some air, some fresh air. Like that. Oh, there's all the purple passengers there. It's quite busy here tonight. And also, I do have the iFly 737, sorry, the, um, the immersion pack is also on, which is good. So hopefully we see some nice immersive wings and condensation during takeoff. There we go, so generator one, generator two, and then we can get rid of it on here. So, not that one. Ground support, electric, set, there we go. Okay everyone, so I'll leave it there until boarding has completed and then we'll get this aircraft ready to go to Edinburgh. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so Alden has just completed. Let's get everything else uh, ready now. So we'll go to the GSX menu and we'll prepare for pushback and departure. We've got to close some doors though. Locking gear. Oh, it's done it itself, has it? Okay. Um, so actually, since the doors have now locked, we need to arm the doors for departure. This is another part of the lovely. Um, thing so we're going to lift the slide down there's a ribbon so doors are now armed at the front and we'll arm the doors at the back as well just click that and it'll do it there we go and these doors are also armed so now the slides will deploy if we open up the doors great and we'll go back into the fly deck again and then get rid of that uh, we want nose left tail right release parking brakes Oh god, that was quick. Okay, parking brakes. Release. Push. All engines clear. Start at wheel. Start number two first. We'll go to ground. What is it doing? <laughs> yeah, switch that soon. Nordic 
wait for this engine to stop motoring. Copenhagen traffic, Norwegian 4 1 foot shot pushing from Alpha 7. It's not Norwegian, what is it? Nordic. Nordic. Right, stop motoring so now we can put an engine 2. I have no idea what it's, what it's doing here, but okay. Push us back the wrong way. As always. Catch up, uh, traffic is now uh, 411 live, it's final uh, to drift. sounds of this plane. Okay, and then we'll start engine one. Once again, wait for it to stop motoring. Then we can pop in the fuel. So I just see it says motor in here. Okay. Some of the best sounds were out there. I still don't know where they're pushing us back, to be honest. We're about to push back onto a taxiway. I hope no one's coming. It's really weird. Okay, so that can also go to continuous as well. Generator 1, generator 2, APU off. APU B can also come off. Electrics, pro peats, your damper can also come on. Isolation valve back to auto and then we'll set flaps five. There we go. Set parking brakes. Unlocking gear. Really, really weird way of pushing us back. Can't lie. So we are here somewhere, we're going to 2-2 two, two right, it's 2-2 two, two left, 2-2 two, two right is here, seems to do like a, oh actually I don't know now, where's the other one, is it airport map, tow truck disconnected, bypass pin removed, there we go, can't you move left it, left is clear, right is clear, so a taxi right on Yankee go through Zulu. Right, let's do a quick flight control check. So full left, full right, and then we'll go full up, full down, and we'll go forward left, full rudder right. Perfect. Right, I think we can go. So we'll release the parking brakes, add a bit of thrust. Castro Travik, Nordic Sun, Delta Mike, taxi to runway to the right, via Romeo, Yankee Delta, 
Perfect. And the packs need to be auto. So where is our runway? It's there. So yeah, we'll take the next. Should go right here. Let's do it. It's raining again. Such a nice aircraft. Right, let's set the cabin lights now to uh, take off and land in. There we go. Right, no one's coming in, right? I don't think so. There's an aircraft there. Is that Scandinavian old livery? Retro. Yes, it is. Norwegian behind us there. Okay, so we can go left onto here and then we'll basically start at the runway. We'll hold it here for two seconds. And just set the aircraft up. Two, two, right. There we go. Hang on. Okay, perfect. So before we take off, we need our landing lights to be on. We also need our strobe lights to come on as well. That's set to continuous. Packs seem to be off because we're in a no aircon departure. Just remind me to put them back on again. Uh, I'll make a quick announcement as well. Copenhagen traffic, Nordic 41 Foxtrot taking off runway 22 right. Copenhagen traffic. And then we'll go into the runway. I'm hoping we get to see some immersion. There's a strobe's working well. On runway, two, two. Right. Okay, great. So let's go 50%. Stable and N1. Eighty knots checked. Custom traffic, Nordic 7, Delta Mike, before departure, line up and wait to the right. Rotate. Positive climb rate, gear up. No immersion, unfortunately. by Copenhagen. Right, let's we'll pop in the autopilot now so we can have a bit of a look at the views on departure. Really nice.
Right, go back into the flat deck, and we'll go flaps up. Nice sunset departure today. I thought I'd do a bit of a later flight than normal. Right, let's switch on those packs before I forget. Standard on each side. I'll switch off the landing lights now. Release the cabin crew. Okay, so just about to pass 10,000 feet now, so I shall leave it there, everyone, until we reach uh, nearer to top of descent. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you all closer to, uh, what do you call it, Edinburgh. And have a great rest of the flight, and I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So, currently cruising flight level 360 still. Ground speed is currently 360 knots. Um, we just come out of Copenhagen control. Uh, we was in there ATC for about 40 minutes. Um, so, yeah, we just escaped from them. And now we are free uh, back onto the advisory. Yeah, not Unicom anymore, the advisory server. Um, anyway, we're going to start planning for the arrival into Edinburgh. Uh, so we are arriving ILS 24, and we are on the. Where's that one? Uh, yeah, Appy One Echo. Uh, straight in, and we're going to pop that in there. Execute that. Uh, go to the init ref page, and we'll pop in that final speed for now. 108.9 is the ILS frequency, so we'll type in 108.90 so it's ready. And the course is 240, so we'll get that set. 240. So can we double check on Navigraph that I did do the right. Actually, I'll show you easier. But I have done the right one. Yeah, so it's the Agp1 Echo arrival. Uh, we're going to do a final straight into runway 24 today. So the route's going to go tartan and then straight in. Uh, I think there's still ATC up there, so there might still be some contact 
As you see, we're not too far away now. We're just just over halfway there. Um, should be about, I'm going to guess, another, another like 40 minutes left for the flyer. Not too long, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, 300 is our minimums. So I need to set that. Uh, that's set to radio so far. So we set 300. It's going to take about 300 years to set it. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. 20 more to go. 10 more. And 300. There we go. Set 300 now. Um, so, yeah, everything there is now set and done. If we go to the VNAV page, top descent will be at 417 Zulu. It's currently. 3.55, so about 20 minutes until descent. Uh, 160 nautical miles left, so yeah, not too bad. Um, auto brake, we're going to do auto brake 2 for arrival. There we go, we'll leave it at that. And um, I'll see you all at top descent and then enjoy the rest of the flight. Hello and welcome back to the flight deck everybody. Just passing 10,000 feet so now is the perfect time to get all of our lights on that we need. Engine start switches can go back to continuous. Uh, Seabot signs also need to come on. And we're doing about, oh, we need to get the speed brake out actually. And Edward traffic uh, pushing back from Gateway. Uh, there is Edinburgh ground on 121755 but that's it, no one else on. It's just the ground. Um, we're going to start setting some flaps as well once we get our speed down to 240. I think probably about flaps two straight away. Radio check, how do you read? Fine, buddy. Huh? Fine, buddy. <laughs> okay, so let's get flaps one out. And flaps two. There we go. Thank you. So flaps 2 is being set now, lovely, I love landing to Edinburgh, it's just so like green and spacious. Away some radio check, boys. Sure. And our lights are currently set to take yeah, off please. and landing. Yay, yeah, 5 for you two guys. Oh my god, can they stop talking now? Radio check? Someone's gonna get banned. Clearly, uh, maybe some 15 year olds on the network tonight. Phoenix is amazing just right now. Oh shit. Hmm. How funny. Right, okay, we'll go flaps five now. I'm landing in Scotland. And we're gonna get our speed reduced down to about one. We've got traffic golf is on the kilo requesting the runway take off clearance to land. Great. And we're gonna go flaps ten as well. And it's arm spoilers. I'm 
not quite sure what's going on here with the aircraft's like movement. It's very peculiar. I think maybe that's messed up a bit. There's that number in the distance. Bank right. angle. Bank angle. <laughs> I haven't had the aircraft behave like this yet, which is interesting. Alright, runway's in front of us now, we've got a bit of visual. One oh eight decimal nine. I've got it set correctly, so Edinburgh traffic, Nordic 41 Foxtrot is 9 miles from runway 24, Edinburgh traffic. Okay, let's go gear down. And we'll go flaps 15. And we'll go final landing speed, which is 133 plus 5. And we'll go flaps 40. Negative. Golf November Kilo is still on the runway and departing. Do you know what? Yeah, I think it is well. I'm just going to disconnect from VATSIM, it's getting annoying. It's ruining everything, to be honest. So, we're just going to disconnect because people constantly yelling down the unicorn is just great in my ears. So, anyway, we'll carry on offline. We'll click record on the flight recorder. Let's just cut. We've got 30 knot headwind and the aircraft is going mental. 1000. Okay. Let's do it ourselves. Glide slow. Approaching to. Glide slow. Start descending again. And let's take off the auto thrust and we'll do that ourselves. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. Two hundred. One hundred. Light 50, slow. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Touchdown. And we'll go reverses. And 60 knots nearly, there we go. Manual braking, reverse stowed. Welcome to Edinburgh. Landing rate was minus 169. There we go. 
Okay, spoilers can come in. Auto break off. Great. Landing lights, or oh, we'll just get everything going now, not about so many more. We'll vacate just to our left here. Love the sound of the brakes on this aircraft, so good. Okay, and the strobe lights can come off onto steady. And our flaps can come up. And that took one hour and 45 minutes altogether. And we'll switch that. Perfect. Usually I get put on remote. We'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, here we are on skate three then. Put the aircraft here for the night. Oh god, I'm slipping all over the place. And we'll stop it there. That was really shocking. Went a bit too far on that one, I think. And we'll set the parking brakes. Engine one, engine two, cut off. And anti-collision light can also come off. Perfect. APB can come on. And there we have it, everybody. Welcome to Edinburgh. Let's get the requesty board in. I'll go get the JPU as well. The JPU. The GPU. Uh, not that. Ground support. Electric. There we go. Connect that in. There we are. APU can come off now. Electric's off. Pro Pete's off. We'll switch off our fuel pumps. AP being come off. That can go to open. Put them off. Ground power. And there we have it. Well, thank you for watching this flight, everybody. I have to say, I do really, really enjoy the um, iFly 737. It was a bit different on landing there. I was a bit distracted by that unicorn, whatever's going on there. But um, it is a really lovely aircraft to fly. And we are going to take this back to Copenhagen. Um, but it'll be tomorrow that I do that flight. So this is going to sleep here for the night. And then we're going to do more of a daytime flight. Um, back to Copenhagen. And then yeah. See what else uh, I can do with this aircraft. Not the last flight. I feel like doing some TUI flights. Quite a lot of TUI flights. Can't lie. Um, also if you want to request a fly. I do have the iFly 737 Max 8 option on the form now. So if you head in the description below. You will find the form there. Thank you all for watching, see you in the next one and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.